All right, Joan Oaks here with Hangster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. I'm bringing to you another addition to our inventory today. Uh, this being a 1966 Ford Mustang GT. Uh, this is a fastback, obviously. Uh, before I start, for any of you out there viewing this car or any other car that we have uh, in our inventory, if you wish to come uh, visit us, check us out. Um, and you need to fly in by chance if you're not in the vicinity, then our closest airport to you is going to be the Pittsburgh International Airport as far as a major airport. So continuing on with our car here, obviously you can see 66 Mustang GT Fastback. This is done in the Wimbledon white exterior color and we do have the dark blue body stripes along the lower portion of the body here. As far as emblems on this car, they're all present here. We've got the Cobra emblems, we've got the 289 Hypo emblems, and we've got the GT emblems all on the front fenders of this car. You can see this car sits on a set of 15 inch Carroll Shelby wheels. Very nice condition too, by the way. And on all four of those, all four of the same size tire, Goodyear Eagle, these are the VR60s, these are 225 60 VR15s on this car. And again, all the tread is in really good shape. Now you can see as we look down the side of the car here, all the body lines all line up with one another. And again, all of your gaps here on your doors, that all looks great too. Glass on this car, again, in great shape. There's no chips or cracks or anything like that on this car. We've got the bright drip rail moldings again in good shape here and our mirrors on both sides. We've got the driver and passenger and the one on the driver's side is a remote mount mirror so that you can adjust it from the inside. We'll open our door up so we can take a quick peek inside. Obviously right away you can tell it's got the blue and white pony interior. The front bucket seats there also. Your vents here that are in your roof. These are fully functional. They have little levers on the inside that you can open and close those to let air in or uh, keep it out. And again, you see we've got some wood grain trim on the dash on the car also. It makes it look really nice inside. Factory steering wheel, all factory instrumentation, and we do have seat belts in this car. Another nice feature to this car, fold down rear seat. So again, about all the options that you're looking for here. As we close the door, closes nice and tight there. We'll walk around the rest of the car here. Again, quarter panels all look good on this car as well. Big rear glass. Again, this car is going to give you a full field of vision when you're out driving it, so you should not have any blind spots on this car. But again, your big rear glass window here, again, in nice condition. You can see across the back here our trunk lid, how it fits real nice. Elevations and gaps the whole way around look good. Nice chrome bumper here. Of course, we've got the GT fuel uh, door right here on the back and the correct GT lower balance. And you can see that that exhaust sticks out right through that lower balance as it should. We're also going to take a look inside of our trunk. I just need to get the key here. So let's open this up. First of all, you can hear it pop. That means that lock works. Your trunk seal and weather stripping around here, all in great shape. Meets right there in the center, so no leaks present here. Little rubber bump stops, those are intact also. The inside of the trunk, immaculate as the rest of the car. We've got a trunk mat in here. We've got a set of floor mats in here as well, if you'd like to use those. Spare tire, jack and everything, all in the bag here as well. You even get a nice little set of Ford gloves in here if you run into problems that you need a set of gloves there. Uh, again, the fuel fill neck here is in great shape too. So everything as far as the truck goes, in real nice shape. Tail lights, lenses, all in great shape. No cracks or chips. The bezels are really nice. There's no pitting on any of that. Again, like I said, that chrome bumper in real nice condition. As we continue to work our way around, again, all of the panels quarters nice and straight the roof is in good condition the paint all nice shiny and smooth all the glass even over here on this side is in great shape too let's just give a quick peek on this side as we did on the other side again you see the front bucket seats the blue carpeting the blue and white interior blue dash 
All of that is in great condition on this car. We'll close this up. And again, this side closes just as nice. And the gaps and elevations are just as nice on this side too. Again, we've already been over the wheels and tires. We don't need to go over those again. All of the emblems. Now we've come around to the front of the car where we can see the front bumper just as nice as the other bumper on the car. The chrome's nice and shiny. Now you can see that GT front grille here with your fog lights. Uh, and again, those do work off of a toggle switch inside. We're going to go ahead and open our hood up. And again, this is a factory steel hood here for this car. You can see it's got all the bracing all intact. The paint looks good underneath the hood as well. Uh, black, uh, blacked out engine compartment. And, it, and to go over the motor, this is the date correct K-Code 289 Hypo motor for this particular vehicle. You can see our car has the chrome air cleaner. It's got the chrome valve covers as well. The correct 289 high performance decals on the air cleaner. Auto light back on the back of it as well. As far as the engine itself, it's just the stock cast intake. Uh, the cast heads and the stock cast exhaust manifolds on here as well. They elected to keep with the original style ignition. So stock style uh, distributor, stock style coil. Of course all your heater lines are all hooked up. Uh, this is a power rack and pinion car. Uh, manual brake though, but it does have the dual master cylinder there. Of course for a carburetor, I believe it is the original carb also. It's got the tags on it and it is a Ford Motorcraft 4100 series carburetor. So that is also correct. Again, the right radiator for this car. It's got the little shroud on it there with your fan. Again, all the belts, all the hoses, everything that you see underneath here are pretty much correct for this car and all in good condition as well. So again, 289 motor. This is the correct K-code motor. That is coupled to a C4 automatic transmission and the 9-inch Ford rear end out the rear of the car there. Um, so again, that's pretty much everything as you see it here on this car. Great looking car. All right, so we've got our Mustang uh, Fastback here. It's a 66 Mustang Fastback GT here up on the lift. So we're gonna go through as we always do and just show you what is underneath here as we work our way from the front all the way back to the rear of the car. Starting up front, we're going to start with the suspension, all stock suspension up here. We do have the front sway bar up here, all the bushings, the sway bar end lengths, those are all in great shape. It's the strut rod front suspension also, and those bushings are in good shape too on all of that. As far as the steering goes, we do have just your typical steering. Now this is a uh, power rack and pinion steering here, so again, it's going to drive real nice for you out on the roads. All of your ball joints everywhere on here have the rubber dust boot covers all intact, and you can tell everything's been maintained very well on the front end of this car. Um, as far as the drive line, we'll just kind of run back through that real quick here. This is the date correct uh, K code. 289 Hypo motor. It does have this nice aluminum Cobra uh, oil pan on it here. That is hooked to a C4 automatic transmission with the aluminum bell housing and it does have the cover on the front for the flywheel. Uh, the transmission cross member all intact, nice and straight. The mount for that also is in great shape and all intact there too. Drive shaft is a balanced unit. Again, that's going to go ahead and take a lot of vibration out of the drive line on this car. And then we have the Ford 9-inch rear end on this car as well. Working back up to the front here, we want to talk about these floors. And you can look at them here on the video and see how nice these are. No patching whatsoever, no holes in here either. All of your rubber plugs are all installed in here. There's not one that's missing in here. Uh, you can see all your stamping lines too, so you can tell that it's the correct floors on this car. The frame sections on this too are in good shape, nice and straight as far as front to back on the car. All of your brake lines and fuel lines are all run very nice. Uh, looks like we have the e-brake cable all hooked up here too, for all the way from the front cables to the intermediates to the rear cables all the way back to those drum brakes. 
Now, as far as brakes go, fronts are drilled and slotted disc brakes. The fronts are drum brakes as well on here. As far as rear suspension, we've got multi-leaf rear suspension and uh, we've got a set of air shocks back here so if you want to you can very easily change the ride height on the back or the rake to the car typically on the mustangs you want to keep it probably just about level that's where they look the best at i believe as far as wheels and tires we have 15 inch shelby wheels on this car and all four of the tires are all the same they are Goodyear Eagle VR60 tires and the size on these uh, just so you have an idea I believe they are a 225 uh, yes 225 60 VR15 all four and the tread on all four is really good too uh, as far as the exhaust system you can see here dual exhaust run all the way from the stock cast exhaust manifolds you do have a crossover pipe here and then all the way back to what it looks like to be a set of turbo style mufflers here of course we've got the correct style tailpipes that go up over top of the rear end and then they exit out through the back of the car the rear balance and that is the correct gt rear balance for this vehicle and those exhaust tips poke through that gives it a real nice finished off look back there stock fuel tank looks to be in great shape there's no dents or dings in that and again all the fuel line everything all looks to be in really good condition so that's pretty much everything on the underside of our mustang fastback gt all right here we are inside our 66 mustang gt fastback we're going to go ahead and take this for a ride now so you can see us driving in it see how nice it runs shifts steers all of that stuff we're going to start from a cold start here so i'm not touching the gas we're just going to go ahead and crank her up fires right up so we're going to go ahead and of course wait for our traffic here um we're here on a crazy busy highway and uh, we've got a stoplight just up the road here from us and it's like we always time it perfect and we get a big rush of traffic when we're ready to go for a ride here. So as soon as we get a clearing, we're gonna go ahead and pull out. Um, let me just start off while we've got a second here to let you know, uh, if you are viewing this vehicle on YouTube uh, or whatever um, source on the internet you're looking at, it, always make sure if you are interested in this car to give us a phone call and make sure that the car is still available. Uh, as with all of our cars, we put them on YouTube and uh, they may or may not be sold. Uh, they stay on YouTube basically forever and uh, you just wanna make sure if you're coming to look at it that the car is available. So we're gonna go ahead and pull out now. We're in first gear, there's second. Anyways, as we're driving, you can look and see that our speedometer is working. The odometer as of right now is reading 5278. Car steers nice and straight, does not pull. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Uh, we When we start off on our drive, we've got a short run till we have to turn around. So we're going to get spun around here and get heading back the opposite direction. Um, while we're sitting here waiting on our traffic light, I just want to say that the car brakes straight also. It does not pull to one side or the other. Turn signal indicators inside do work. That's your left. And of course, there's your right. Now, as far as all the other lights in the car, everything is functioning. Um, if we turn our headlights on, uh, actually that's wipers, but we'll check those out too. So you've got the um, low speed on the wiper. You've got the high speed on the wiper. And then when you turn them off, they do return back to the bottom where they should. Oil pressure gauge is functioning over here. Um, the fuel pressure gauge is where our fuel level gauge is working also. And of course our amps gauge as well. Now we've got our left turn signal on as we turn and it does auto cancel as well. So that's always good on these older cars. Sometimes that cancel cam 
uh, sometimes does not function, but on this car it is working just fine. Um, so we're getting turned around here. Temperature gauge, you can see it is starting to come up again. Remember, we started from a cold start, so again, that is functioning as well. And the tack, now this is your Cobra tack up here on the dash. It is an original item for this car, and you can see that that is working too. Again, coming to a stop at idle, it's probably like right around the 800 RPM mark at idle. So we're gonna go ahead and get pulled back out here on the highway. First gear, second, and third. And now that I think about it, this is not an overdrive transmission. So you only have three gears in your automatic transmission. Again, power steering, the car steers very nice. As I said, braking is great. Again, it has those front drilled and slotted rotors. Again, we're running along at about 50 mile an hour, and you can see our uh, tack here is reading about 22, 21 to 22 there. So again, all of those are functioning as they should. Nice wood grade steering wheel, nice comfortable fit. Seats are very nice too. Again, the interior of this car is the blue and white pony interior. So again, it's a real nice look inside here uh, for this particular Fastback GT model here that we have. Again, motor runs nice and smooth. That transmission shifts nice and smooth also. And the rear end in this car is super quiet also. Now again, the exhaust isn't a real loud, obnoxious exhaust. It's actually really quiet. All right, so now we're getting turned around so we can head back to our shop here. So again, there's just a few couple things here that we need to go over yet. And one would be the lights. Lights, as I said, all work. If you pull our lights on and we put our high beams on, there is a high beam indicator right in the center of your speedometer, a little red light there that tells you that your high beams are on. So that's working as well. Now you do have, on this car, you do have the GT fog lights and there is a toggle switch for those down here on the dash as well. All of that, all functions. And then of course, the very last thing, as we come up to our stoplight here, the very last thing is going to be the horn. Now this has the rim blow horn on it. You won't get the horn from right in the center of the steering wheel. You'll get it from right out here at the sides here. So you'll see that works. So the horn all works. So wipers work, horn works. All of your gauges are functioning. Um, the blower motor works. Everything uh, as far as the uh, transmission, everything shifts very nice and smooth there brakes work and do not pull to the side power steering same thing S tracks nice and straight does not pull to one side or the other and again the engine runs nice and smooth the rear end no noise at all in that again a good smooth running driving car uh, something that you're going to be definitely happy with if you buy this car that you can take out to a show you can drive cruise around in you're going to be happy with this ride. So we're going to get down here to our shop again.